Hey everybody, I will be on in just a second, um, but you know the dealio. I need your help. Let me know uh, how I sound on audio. Also, we are voting for what color succulent you want me to crochet. Uh, I'll talk more about this in the intro, but we're voting between sage green, forest green, cyan, and purple. Um, so you go ahead and let me know which one you want me to crochet with. Um, obviously, cyan and purple are not currently included in this seasonal crochet kit, so um, there is the caveat. But I'll talk more about that again in the intro. But most importantly, how do I sound? How's the music in the background? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? Um, is there the sound of a baby crying? That'd be weird because there's no baby in here. So let me know. Things like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll be on in just a sec. Uh, but yeah, let me know how I sound.
All right, let's rock and roll. Doobity bop, do wop, like that, like that. Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. Uh, I hope you guys have had a wonderful week. I've had a pretty good one. Um, yeah. Was the Korok Surpro Grace pattern? Sorry, I'm just reading the reading the chat. Hey everybody, welcome to the live stream. Today we're gonna be crocheting a succulent. Now it's not just gonna be any succulent. We're gonna be adding a little tiny face under the succulent, and it's gonna be super cute. It's gonna be great. Uh, we're all gonna have a wonderful time. In fact, to make it a super wonderful time, I actually did decide to make the pattern free. So. The pattern is free for today only. Uh, you can find it right, uh oh, I didn't fix that. Hold on, I gotta change something here. There we go, succulent. And here, let me move it over just a little bit. Boop, 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 creeping across the screen, there we go. Okay, now it's good to go. You can find the pattern right here at clubcrochet.com slash succulent. Uh, and yeah, it's totally free for right now. So if you just go there, it should just pop up. Uh, I tried to make it super accessible for everybody. So I hope you guys like that. Uh, Cooper also put it into the chat. Thank you, Cooper. And um, you can also find it in the description of this video. So that's what we're gonna be making today. That's the pattern you're gonna need. Now, if you wanna crochet with us, uh, you're gonna need the following materials. And let me move these out of the way. We'll talk about those in just a second. Um, Today we're going to be pulling from our our seasonal crochet kit for photosynthesis. Uh, this is actually our second to last pattern for the season because we've made the rest of them. Um, we've made, let's see, so far we've made uh, this, this adorable cactus. We made this sunflower. We've made this cute bonsai tree that's nice and wobbly. Kind of looks like Sudowoodo, the Pokemon. Uh, we've made this adorable planet Earth. And now we're gonna be making the succulent. And then next week, we're gonna be making the last pattern for it, which is actually out now. And I'm going to share with you in just a second. Um, yeah, it should be available by just going there. If it's not, hmm, that's kind of strange if, it, if you're not able to access it. Let me know if you can't access the pattern. Uh, I might have done something incorrect, in which case uh, I don't know what to do. Um, <laughs> yes, dill. Adorable little dill. Um, but yeah, today we're making a succulent. Now, we are voting currently on what color to make our succulent. We're going to be voting between sage green. That's going to be this color here. That's sage green. We got forest green. Now, those two colors are available in the seasonal crochet kit. Now the other two colors that I put for the vote were just for fun to see if anybody would want to make one this way. We're going to be uh, voting to see if we want to make a purple succulent because that's weird and sounds kind of fun. Or a cyan succulent, which is going to be this color right here in the corner right there. So go ahead and vote now in the chat. Besides those colors, I'm going to go ahead and grab the yarn from inside of our crochet hook or our crochet kit. Look, we're actually almost done with the kit, which is pretty cool. Um, we ended up not actually using any of our six millimeter eyes and I think we're still going to not do that today. We're going to be using eight millimeter meter eyes today um, because I think that's really cute for these succulents. Um, we'll need some thread, which I already got out. We'll need a crochet hook, of course. We're going to be using a size four millimeter G size crochet hook. You'll need a pair of scissors and a darning needle, obviously. Um, oh, look at that. I even had a crochet hook in here already. That's nice. And, um like thread. Yeah, I think that's all the materials that we're gonna need today. Uh, and we'll need the rest of our colors for later, but we'll need our sage green or whatever you guys choose. Uh, there has been 57 votes and most of them have been for sage green. So I'm gonna pull that out uh, because I think that's gonna be what wins. We'll also need our brown. That's gonna be for the dirt for the succulent. And then finally, we'll need a little bit of our beige yarn for the pot of the succulent, but we might end up switching that up later on. Uh, I might put it for a vote to see what color pot you guys want me to crochet. Um, we can use this box as a yarn holder, so maybe we'll do that today. Nah, nah, nah. 
that's actually it's really useful when i'm like sitting on the couch with this because like you can have all the materials in here and have everything ready in fact um next season's kit i'll show you right here uh is available for pre-order um this season's kit photosynthesis is available now for ordering so if you want to order it you still can um and it'll be available for a little bit longer um i might keep it up for indefinitely but i'm not 100 percent sure yet and we are running a little low on inventory so i'm trying to like get more made um but these are available now uh you can find links to where you can purchase them into the in the description uh and it's a really really good way to support this channel um, other ways to support this channel are with the Club Crochet membership. That's probably the best way to support this channel. Um, membership gives you early access to future patterns. They get, give you access to the exclusive library of tutorials. I add new ones in all the time. You even get discounts on things like this seasonal crochet kit. You get 5% off if you have a membership. Um, you can sign up for a membership with a free trial. So you can like just sign up for the free trial, get your discount coupon, and then use your discount on the kit. I'm not gonna hurt you for that. That's totally cool. Go for it. Uh, play the system. That's totally chill with me. Um, uh, but yeah, that's um, that's probably the best way to support this channel, though, is with a membership. Um, if you do want to support this channel and you don't want to, um, you know, pay, uh, I totally get that too, and I totally understand. All you need to do for that is just like this video down below and subscribe to the channel. It's the freest, cheapest way to support this channel. Um, you can also share your projects with uh, with us on um, social media. That's another good way to support this channel f freely. Um, but if this video gets 150 likes, we're going to do a giveaway next live stream. Uh, and we'll probably be giving away one of these pins if we do get 150 likes. Um, check out all of our cute little pins. Another good way to support this channel. We got a little Jimbo pin. We got a the uh, the cactus pin here. That's from this season's um, annual passes. So if you have an annual pass, um, you also get a pin in each one of your kits. And the annual pass pin for last season was this one. And I have a few extra, so they are available in the shop. I am almost out though. So if you want one of these pins, like seriously, buy them right now. Uh, same thing as this burb. I think I only have like. 10 more of these left so they're almost out next season we're going to be doing under the sea themed uh and here's the kit look at how pretty um i'm not going to open this up because it's filled with all the projects because i'm like using this as my little place where not only do i keep the yarn but i keep the projects that i'm working on uh so i don't want to open this because i don't want to spoil any surprises that being said if you do want to pre-order it, you will also get the pin. You can pre-order it or an, uh, get an annual pass and you'll get next month's pin uh, in your kit. And look at how cute next month's pin is. Let's see, can I get it even closer? Look at how cute it is. I thought it would be really fun to design one that has like a little octopus made out of yarn and then he's like in a fish bowl and he's getting like, you know, like a crochet hook, but it's like a fishing hook. It was the idea there. I think it's really cute. I'm really proud of it. And it uses the colors from the seasonal kit because we're using black, white, purple, cyan, and uh, teal. Um, it doesn't have pink in it, but I just thought that was really, I, I just felt really clever about it. So I'm pretty proud of it. Um, yeah, so that's available. Uh, the pins will be available for sale as well eventually, but uh, they're not up yet. So sorry. Um, okay, so we have done our vote. I got the whole spiel out of the way is there anything i'm missing team i don't know if there's anything i'm missing or not let me know in the comments if you're like lou you forgot to tell them about the giant dragon that's in the background there is no giant dragon in the background but if i forgot to tell you anything let me know Okay, do okay. So I'm gonna pull up the pattern now. Um, again, all you need to do clubcrochet.com slash succulent. It's totally um, free right now. And oh, I did forget something. Cooper reminded me by, thank you so much, Cooper. Um, the last way to support this channel, if you'd like to in the chat right now or in the description, you can tip. Uh, it is a great way to support the channel. Um, support me directly actually. Uh, you can do that uh, and if you tip I will add something to the background for you and our backgrounds getting a little wild but Hold on. Let's tr change the tip cam real quick Because we're gonna be adding something for Cooper right here. Uh, our tree is almost here It's gonna be here uh, Probably by next week. My dad is gonna paint it 
Um, he, he, my dad made a giant like metal tree to add right here. And so all these characters here are going to be put on the tree. It's going to be really cool. And then I've also got something special for next season that I think you're really going to dig. It's, I'm going to kind of change things up, but in a cool way, I think you're really going to like it. Um, you can see here, these are all the things from this season's, uh, patterns that we've been making throughout the season, our little earth and stuff. And then over here on the left, we have all the projects that we've been working on this season. Uh, including our little cobalt boomy or balmy. I can't remember how we pronounced it. We got our little uh, our little hummingbird from the beginning of the year. We got our little um, treasure chest here. This one actually we didn't make this season, but this was like the first support that we got, uh, first tip. And if you tip, I'll add something to the background here. Uh, specifically, we're gonna be add some, adding something to the tree for Mr. Cooper. And the thing I want to add to the tree for you today, Cooper, is, where is it? I had it all prepared for you. Here it is. The one, bo uh, the one bonimal that we haven't added to the background. Check it out. Oh, Jimbo wants to say hi. We're going to be adding the beaver to the background because I realized I don't have a beaver back there yet. So uh, I, knew, I knew Cooper was going to shoot off and tip so i was like all right let's let's get something prepared so i got this little beaver to add to the background for you cooper and so we'll add that jimbo hold on buddy we're doing our intro we're gonna add that right here for right now oh man that almost balanced beaver yeah. there we go we'll just put him right here because he'll be on a tree next week anyhow um, okay, so there's the support. Thank you so much, Cooper. You rock my socks. Um, the last thing I want to show you, in fact, I'm going to show you on this tip cam just because it, actually, no, no, I'm not. The last thing I'm going to show you is um, what people have been waiting for for quite a long time, and that's going to be the new pattern that just got added today. If you are part of the email list, you probably already saw this. But this is the brand new pattern and the last pattern in the seasonal crochet kit that I've been hinting at all season long. People have been guessing about it. Um, and yeah, I think, I think you're really gonna dig it. So the new pattern is, I'm calling them flower pads slash coasters because you can make either. So the first thing is you can make coasters. So I wanted to kind of like change my vibe up and try something different and maybe not do Amigurumi for the last one to kind of like, throw you off my scent of like, ooh, what's he gonna do next season and stuff. So the first thing is you can make coasters, which are really, really cute. I really like the coasters a lot. But the main thing that I designed for this was a sunflower pad. Now, I actually turned my pad into something else, which I'm about to show you. But basically what it is, it's a larger pad that you can use as like a hot pad, or you can put it under like an actual flower pot. Um, I just thought it was kind of like a fun like decorational thing that you could use but I did discover something else that I could use it for and I made it l last night or two nights ago I made one and uh, next week's live stream we're gonna be making these coasters uh, but we're gonna be actually making what I'm about to show you which is that you could turn these into a clock how freaking cool is this it's a clock and it's made without any gluing or anything it's so easy to make i i love it i'm so so proud of this it's just so cool looking isn't it dope so basically what i did was i made the sunflower pad pattern and we're going to be doing this next week so if you want to make one along with me just subscribe hit the little bell icon so you get notified jimbo stop scratching that that's not a toy stop um go away uh, so basically what I did was I made the sunflower pad pattern, which is this entire crocheted part right here. And then I, uh, cut out Jimbo, dude, you can't, you cannot do that. I'm sorry. Come on. Oh, he's eating the cords. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay. Sorry. Jimbo was eating all the cords again, and I actually think he was gonna unplug it. So we kicked him out for the time being, he'll be back. Uh, but anyhow, um, so what I did was I crocheted the, the sunflower pad pattern um, right here. Uh, we're gonna be doing this next week, so if you wanna make one along with me, just subscribe down below, hit the bell icon. But this pattern is available on the website. 
And then all I did was I have these like clock parts that I bought on, I think I bought them on Amazon. And I cut out a, uh, a board out of basically cardboard. It's called chipboard. Um, I have a print that I'm gonna be putting onto the website this week. Um, that is so that you can cut this out really easily. You can cut it out on cardboard or whatever you want. And then I just poked holes in it. I poked holes in all the corners and I poked holes in the very center. I put the clock part through the center and then I used eyes through all the corners and then onto the sides of it to make like all the number spots and to hold everything down. I'm really proud of it. I think it's really cool, especially because there's no glue. It's made all without any glue at all, which as you probably know by watching my stuff, like I don't like sewing things together. I don't like gluing things together if I can avoid it. Um, so yeah, I'm just really proud of it. This is a brand new pattern that is available now. Um, it is available for membership level accounts. So you do need a membership to access it. And then later on, I'm going to be doing, uh, I think by next week, I'm going to have a bundle available for purchase. So if you're not a member and you do want to purchase the patterns from the season, um, you can purchase all the patterns from the season and you'll get, uh, in this pattern included in that bundle. But I think that's gonna be the only way that this pattern is gonna be available is with a membership or purchase. I don't think I'm gonna make it free. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I don't know. You know me, I kind of changed my mind last minute when it comes to patterns. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of this. I hope you guys like it. And uh, it'll be fun to make one together with you live next week. Uh, we'll choose the colors and everything. It'll be kind of cool. Um, but without further ado, Let's get hooking. Let's move this stuff out of the way as well. We are making a succulent today. And let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat if um, you have, oh wait, and we're gonna end the poll. Let's go ahead and end that. Um, let me know in the chat if you're crocheting along with me. Uh, or what you're making. If you're crocheting anything at all, just let me know in the chat. I, I'm very curious. I want to know, what are you making? What are we crocheting together? Um, I should probably should pull up the pattern. Oh, I have it pulled up. Cool. And let's see, what else did I want to say before I get too involved here? I'll just put these on screen. Wink, wink, nod, nod, buy a pin. Um, <laughs> um, wait, there was something else I wanted to ask you. What was it? I can't remember. Oh well. I cannot remember what I was gonna ask. But uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get crocheting. We're making a sage green one right now. Uh, oh, Karina's making a squid. Oh, Lix, first off, hey, Karina, hi to Karina and Lix. I don't know if your regulars here, but I haven't, I don't know if I've seen your uh, handles before so hello welcome to the chat and in fact if anybody here is more of a newbie um hi welcome to the chat uh thank you for joining i really appreciate it these are super fun to to just crochet along together and i think it's kind of cool um but you're making a you're you're free handing a messenger bag that's super dope that seems like a lot of work and uh i'm sure it's gonna pay off i i that's really really cool Oodles is making a summer scarf. What is a summer scarf? I wonder. Well, they're lurking, so they might not answer. Uh, Ruby is trying to crochet a skink. I don't know what a skink is either. Man, a lot of words I don't know right now. <laughs> I'm guessing a skink is like a type of animal, but I'm not sure. And then, uh, beautifully? Be too, beautifully? Uh, is making a balloon dog. So is that like a balloon? Huh. That's interesting. A balloon dog. Like a, like a, like a balloon animal, but a dog, but crocheted. Very interesting. Uh, Cooper made a Korok. Very cool. I, uh, I really, honestly, I need to work on a Korok pattern really bad. I think that it, it's, it's high time that I have a Korok. Um, I really want to do a Let's Play in Crochet and design a Korok on that. So, hopefully that happens soon. Let's see. Okay, we're making the little leaves now for the succulent. This pattern's actually pretty quick to make, by the way. So, 
This live stream might be a little bit shorter than we're kind of used to. And also, let's fix that focus. Hopefully that'll help. No, I might change it to manual. There we go, manual focus. Might get a little blurry in the background, but whatever. Whatever, let me know if it gets too blurry and it's annoying. Um, da, 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 I had, oh, oh, that's what I wanted to say. If you would like to, the vote for um, our, for the cr Club Crochet uh, Challenge is, wait, chain one there, and then we slip stitch into the next stitch like that, right? Yes, okay, got it. Um, if you would like to, the Club Crochet Challenge is going on right now. Uh, the vote is going on right now, and it is your last chance to vote. Slip stitch one. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Okay. I already I messed up on like the second stitch. That was silly. Okay, so we slip stitch one. Okay, let's try this again. We slip stitch one here. Then we chain one, and then we half double crochet into the next one. Okay, got it. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Uh, what I was going to say was the Club Crochet Challenge vote is currently going on, and it ends tomorrow. So if you would like to vote on which cactus um, from the community you like the best, uh, it would be really cool. Um, we're looking for votes right now. In fact, I think that a couple of people that are in the challenge are in the... Um, are in the chat right now so uh and i think actually the person that's currently winning the challenge is in the um in the chat so zoe you know it's you zoe made a a bodacious cactus you'll know what i mean when you go to vote it's very bodacious and uh and currently you are in the lead zoe uh so good luck to you um but yeah cooper just put something in the chat for where you can vote for the challenge winner. Um, we're gonna be doing another challenge in the middle of season two. Um, I've got a couple of ideas for what the challenge could be, but if you have any ideas, um, I'm all ears. I'm absolutely looking for any kind of ideas that you guys might have. Um, currently, I'm kind of thinking maybe an octopus, like we cro you crochet your own octopus and you dress it up for whatever, maybe for like a fancy dinner party or as a pirate or as uh, a Halloween, in a Halloween costume or whatever you want. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, yeah, but I'm not totally sure yet. Uh, but yeah, if you have any, any suggestions, uh, I'm all ears. It is, it is all of our challenges. Um, okay, I think that's it. Now I go to the next round. And I start crocheting in the back loops. I go one, two, three, four, five, six. So right here. Um, someone asked about the directions. Am I going to be posting the directions? I'm guessing you mean the directions for this pattern. Uh, this pattern's uh, instructions, the tutorial, it's got a full video tutorial and a PDF, and I made it all available for free today. So uh, if you want to get this pattern for free, it's just at clubcrochet.com slash succulent. It's the top link in the description. It's the top link in the chat, and it's right here on the on screen. So, um, yeah, that's the answer to that. I think that was Auntie Boo's creations was the question. Um, was the question. It should be completely free. Like, you shouldn't even need a membership um, if you go to clubcrochet.com slash succulent. But I don't know. Is, is, are people having a trouble trouble pulling up the pattern? Like, is it requiring a membership or something? Now, that being said, uh, they might be talking about the um, the sunflower pad pattern, in which case that pattern is not free. That one does require a membership. So I don't know. Maybe I missed a missed part of it. And so I might be giving bad information. So let me know if you need any more clarity there. Um, okay, so we are just crocheting on uh, and hanging out. I wanted to talk to you about... Uh, <laughs> I, this is really just for me because I think I'm probably the main person in the live stream right now that really, really likes the game Pikmin. 
there's a video game called Pikmin <laughs> that if you've joined these live streams before, you know I am kind of obsessed with. Um, this is what a Pikmin looks like. They have crocheted one. I'm working on the pattern still. But they just announced that Pikmin 1, 2, uh, 1 and 2 is available now for sale on, um, on the Switch. So I am so excited. I haven't played those games in forever. So I'm very excited to give them a play, play them again. And uh, I've honestly, I've been thinking about it all day. It needs an account, but you don't need a membership. Oh, cool. That's super good to know, Ivy. Thank you for letting me know that. Um, yeah, so, okay, so you need an account, but you don't need a membership. But it is free if you have an account on the website. So make an account on the website. You can make a free account. It doesn't cost anything. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, yeah, we are on track. And we are on, I am currently on, I should check this off so I can keep track of my, where I'm at in my pattern. So I'm on round four, it looks like. Yeah, okay. Round four, we got slip stitch, chain one, and then, oh, we're doing the same thing again. Okay, cool. Yeah, this works, this works. Whoops. Do you guys see this, by the way? You see that? Oh, you can't see it. I'm gonna pull this down. This is my, by the way, little behind the scenes thing. Uh, every time I do a season, these are my, like, here's all the pictures that I need to take and stuff. It's like a checklist that I have to make sure I get all the pictures that I need for each season. A little behind the scenes. I got a lot of those checklists, actually. Here's the checklist for all the edits I need to make. Here's a checklist for this. Here's a checklist for that. Blah, diddy, blue, diddy, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, I know, Ruby, right? Yeah, Pikmin 1 and 2 is available now on the Switch. Super duper cool. Very excited. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm, I'm pretty much obsessed with Pikmin, so it is, it's very exciting. Um, and I'll work on the Pikmin pattern, by the way, to come out. Uh, I really wanted it to come out within season one, so I'm going to do my best to try to finish it up in time uh, to come out by the end of the month. But I'm also working on next season's patterns right now, so it's like, you know, I'm a little behind on that, So and those kind of take priority. So I'm doing my best, though. Yeah, Oodles, that's, thank you for giving that a shout out. Yeah, if you wanna create a free account on the website, there are actually quite a lot of patterns on my website that are completely free and just require a um, an account, a totally free account. So uh, yeah, if this might be the best chance you have to create an account on the website um, and access those because you'll get the succulent pattern as well. Oh, I didn't know they were going to be physically released in September. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, Pikmin 3 is like the best. Um, actually, I've been playing, uh, so there's this game called Pikmin Go. It's like, it's kind of, or not Pikmin Go, Pikmin Bloom. But it's basically, remember Pokemon Go? The one where you like would walk around and you catch Pokemon and stuff? There's a Pikmin version of that game, which is very silly, I know. but. I play it all the time and actually we kind of got this little um, there's like this like this little crew of people in the chat that are also playing it so shout out to Cooper shout out to um, wizard uh, 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 Wizkid, I think his name is Wizkid, uh, and shout out to um, Katie cat uh, fit crafts I think is what their name is um, we have this little crew where we do um, steps every week and Cooper has been straight up killing it every week. Today or, or yesterday we like completed our challenge of we needed to do like 30,000 steps in a week, I think. And uh, Cooper did did like 10,000 steps in, <laughs> in like two, three days. So good job, Cooper. You, that was, that was great. I was like, I logged in and I was like, Oh, dang, Cooper, that was wild. Yo, Ivy, you play Pikmin Bloom too? Dude, you should uh, message me, um, email me, and I'll send you a little friend 
request. Uh, email me your friend code uh, for Pikmin Bloom, and I'll and I'll add you into our little crew, uh, so we can we can um, plant flowers together and stuff. It's a super cute, fun game. I it's very simple, um, but I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So that would be the next one. So we're gonna start right here. Okay. I think I'm just like on autopilot now. I'm pretty sure I just know the pattern. But let's pull it up anyhow. I'm on round five. Okay. Yeah, one, two. Okay, cool. We're, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Yeah, I kind of wish um, in retrospect for season one's... Um, Dude, I know me too. I, I am also trying to get the cute Pikmin event. I they're, Right now they released like a bunch of Pikmin with little chess pieces on their head. And uh, I'm trying to get all the chess pieces. They're super cute. But sorry, uh, I, I should stop talking about Pikmin so much. You can see my nerdy obsession peeking through. Um, I kind of wish that I had thought of that doing that clock. Um, before, I, w I wish I had the clock parts as part of the seasonal crochet kit, but I totally kind of dropped the ball there. So I'm trying to think in the future of doing a new, like another, a new kit that is um, like a clock kit so you can crochet your own clock. Uh, but I don't know, is that something you might be interested in? Uh, I'm not sure if it's worth doing, like putting in the effort to make it or not. Um, I would love feedback though, if that is something that people might be interested because then I'll put the effort into getting those kits made. Um, I'm also working on a kit for uh, cacti, like as like a mini seasonal crochet kit. Cause I want like some options out there for people that don't want to buy the full seasonal crochet kit. They just want to make the cacti or something. So I'm trying to like put other options out there. Um, so yeah, any any kind of feedback with with how like the kinds of kits you might like to see in the future um, are that would be heavily heavily recommended or or heavily I don't know what I'm trying to say very helpful that's what I'm trying to say double crochet one and then I mini peacoat like it is. Um, like I said before, this stream probably will be a little shorter than uh, last week's and the weeks before um, because we're only making the succulent. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna go and make like two succulent or anything like that. Um, it's something that I've kind of been trying to do for myself is like, like respect my time a little bit more because I love, love doing these live streams. But when I do a live stream for like, four hours it definitely wears me out and i'm not able to get all the other work done that day um jules was big we, me and jules were talking and she was like you have a lot of things you got to do you know like you have patterns you want to make and when you do these live streams you don't do any recordings you don't do any editing afterwards because you're too tired and so i think she's right so i think what i need to start doing is kind of just not cutting back the amount of live streams, but cutting back in like how much extra time I spend on live streams instead of doing three hours, four hour streams, just making one item and then moving on and doing another live stream next week. So I hope that's okay with you. Um, I, I am sorry that it's a little shorter. Uh, it might be a little shorter today than it normally is, but I, I just need to, I just got a lot of other things I need to do. And honestly, it's, it's just to make more stuff for you. So I hope you're cool with that. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, hey, another shout out. Like this video down below if you haven't already. Uh, we're trying to get 150 likes. And if we get 150 likes, I'll do a giveaway next live stream. Um, and then what else? What else should I say? Oh, yeah. That next live stream, we're going to be making a clock. Which should be pretty fun. Should be pretty fun. I think we'll make a clock together and we'll like change up the colors and stuff, you know?
Oh, I like that idea, Ruby. That's a really good idea. I will totally consider that doing doing affiliate links for Amazon instead of doing like like full kits because then yeah because then there's like still the option to support the artist but it's not like I have to go and buy a bunch of clock parts and put them together into kits and stuff. That's super good good feedback. Yeah, I also have kind of been thinking that if I start doing sh like shorter live streams, then it'll give me the option to do more like live streams more often because I won't be so exhausted by doing a live stream. So like I'm kind of thinking if I, I like I really I know I've been talking about it a lot, but I really want to start doing gaming live streams where like either me or Jules, my fiance are playing a video game while the other one is knitting or crocheting and then like we can switch back and forth I call them let's play and crochets I used to do them all the time um, but I kind of want to start doing those again I really want to start doing those again just because I really like playing video games and I really like crocheting and it's kind of like merging the two and it's like the best of both worlds but when I do these super duper long live streams you know it kind of like wears me out for the week and I'm like oh I don't have I can't do another live stream this week but if I make them relatively short um, I will have that option so that's kind of what's been what I've been noodling uh, this week with there's that and I think that's the end of that round what round was that that was round six looks like it's coming together pretty well though look at that that looks like a succulent to me I think one of the reasons why I love this pattern so much is because there's no sewing. It's like it's all it's all made together in one big big piece, which is always always a perk in my opinion. I hate sewing things together. Sometimes it can be fun when you haven't been doing it a lot, but like 9 times out of 10 I am not a fan. Oh, I found a mistake in the pattern. I've got to fix this. Hold on. Hold on. I got to write this down because I will I will forget about it. Okay. The C listing to Heather. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we need to add this to the to do list. Um, by the way, check out my. This is my booklet of to do lists. It's so long. There's just like a million bazillion to dos. So I've got to add in the to do list to fix. The succulent pattern it's what round is it round seven round seven is a mistake in the pattern so I need to fix that uh, if you ever find mistakes in my patterns by the way please email me let me know uh, I, I obviously I come out with a lot of patterns so um, I don't always I'm not always able to catch all the mistakes that I put in up because I'm like already working on the next one so if you ever find mistakes like that please let me know uh by emailing me you can either either email me by contacting uh like contact at clubcrochet.com you can email me directly if you want to um i'm just louis at clubcrochet.com uh, or you can just let me know in in these live streams or something that would be also very helpful but yeah if you ever find something like that please let me know any mistakes Oh, you missed the video game music? Well, let's change it then. I can fix that. Check it out. Let's switch it to forest music. There we go. Easy fix. Easy fix. Um, I'm going to work around this tail end just a little bit. Well, you do now, Oodles. Yeah, if you can guess what song all these are from, uh, you get extra credit. 
Not from me, but you get extra credit from someone. The universe is saying, good job. You did it. You figured it out. Because I don't know what this is from. Not sure. Uh, the good. Here's the hint, though. This is all... Um, this is titled... One hour of forest and jungle video game music. So, it's from a game with a jungle. Probably. Alright, I think I might be on my... Last round of the top of this succulent. Chain one. Okay, so it's just the same thing as last round. Okay, I like that. I like that. Sometimes I forget my patterns, and then I look back at them, and I'm like, oh, that's clever. <laughs> like, like, complimenting my past self. So full of myself. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, Zoe, I changed the music up. Well, I do I do get cease and desists on my videos every now and then. when uh, Or not cease and desists. I get, like, copyright infringement things uh, for certain songs that come up. But, um, you know, I'm never really sure. And honestly, now the music that I changed it to to avoid those copyright things are also giving me copyright things. So it's kind of like it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to turn off manual focus because it's just not, it's not doing what it's supposed to. Where should you send your Pikmin Bloom friend code? Email it to me, uh, Ivy. You can email it to, or I mean, if you want to, you can just put it in the chat. Um, Cause maybe Cooper might want to add you to, or or um, uh, the wizard kid uh, or something. But you can also just email me directly uh, at louis at clubcrochet.com and I can add you that way as well. Jimbo, Jimbo wants back into the stream. He wants to stop the live stream. We will let him in in just a second. Oh, speaking of, oh, a coffee. Oh, cool. I was gonna, I was hoping for an ice one, but I'm cool with oh, a hot I'm one sorry, too. I didn't know that. No, it's okay. All good. You want to just say hi? You don't have to be in camera. You can just Hello. say hi. Yeah. Jimbo, Jimbo, uh, Jimbo can be in. We'll, we'll allow Jimbo to be in. Hey, also, check this out. Not you. I mean, you can if you want, but. Yes, hi, Jimbo. You're back. Don't eat the cords, though. You're on probation. We're watching you. I said, don't eat the cords. I said, don't eat the cords. Okay, check out this cute mug that Jules just gave me coffee in while I kick Jimbo away from the cords. Away from the cords. Okay. Oh. What? Oh, I need to move the coffee. Doi. A bunch of people say hi. <laughs> She's like, hi. Okay. Back to it. So last night, I, Jules and I went to a friend's place and played some board games with them. Uh, I showed them Lava Run. By the way, if you're in the chat and... Uh, oh, but that, that mug, I think, is available for sale in the shop, by the way. This, this Jimbo, adorable Jimbo mug. It is available for sale. Great way to support the channel and has a little Jimbo on it. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I went to a friend's place last night and we showed them Lava Run. Uh, Lava Run, by the way, is a board game that I'm making um, that is about dinosaurs escaping a volcano. It's available for testing, so if you would like to uh, try this game that I'm talking about out and um, give me feedback on the game, uh, it would be very welcomed. I'm not 100% sure what the link is to, to access the that. But if you want to learn more about it, just email me at louis at clubcrochet.com. Um, yeah, that would be, that'd be pretty cool. 
Uh, Zoe, hey, Zoe, by the way, if you want to, I'm, I'm not saying don't add it to your cart. You absolutely can add it to your cart. But I will let you know that because, like, if you win the giveaway, uh, or the, the Club Crochet Challenge, which it kind of looks like you might win it, um, I'm basically giving you, uh, you win, you win the crochet kit for next season, the season two crochet kit. But what you really win is a gift card for the crochet kit. So you can use that gift card for other things if you don't really want to get the seasonal crochet kit. So just as a thought, like if you wanted to use that gift card for the mug, uh, as well as a bunch of other stuff, you probably could do that as well. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying don't buy the mug. I'm just saying, you know, you might, you might, you know. Hey, bud. Why do we bite the cords? Why are we chewing on cords? What do I have to do? What do I have to do to teach you? Anybody want a cat? <laughs> I'm gonna give you away on, on next week's live stream if you don't behave yourself. Too bad. Too bad. We're gonna give you away. You know how many people are gonna want we're gonna enter that giveaway. Everybody's gonna enter that giveaway. Everybody's gonna be like, I want a Jimbo. Cause they don't know. They don't know what it's like. You're a demon. You're a demon in a cat's body. Okay, okay, we're gonna, we're going to throw an item so that Jimbo will play with it and not attack my yarn. Here, we're gonna toss this. For Jimbo. Jimbo! Hey! Hey! Let that go. Take this. Ready? 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 Go get it! No, go get it! Yes! Okay, then take the door. Go get it! Oh, he's not doing anything. He's just laying there. Like the bum he is. This is not toy. My god, dude. You are too much. Psycho Kitty. Yeah, I could. You're right. I could never give away Jimbo. That's what it is, Jimbo. Are you just running out of battery and you need to... That's what, Is that why you're chewing the cords? Because you need to charge up? Stop. Oh, my God. I was wrecking the basket. Hey! You're out. No! Stop. Stay here. Okay. That's my finger. Stay there. Stop it. Get some help. Give him a ball of yarn. I don't need to give him a ball of yarn. He'll take it. Go kitty. Keska say. Okay. Go. There we go. Um, we will actually probably need to vote on what kind of face we want to give our succulent when we get to that point. So we'll need to, we'll probably need to start that vote so we have time to, time for you to vote on it while I make the body. So we'll, let me finish up this round and then we'll choose face types. Let's see, what kind of face types should we do? Um, hi, I crochet. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I agree. I think I'm a pretty good crocheter, so. <laughs> okay, so we got, that's a good good suggestion, Ivy. Chubby face. Yes, most definitely. That should be in the vote. Um, any, other, any other suggestions out there? Okay, so I think the yarn. 
See, like this, there's, I found another mistake in the pattern. Hold on. Come on. You'd think I would have tested this out. I'm pretty sure the PDF is right. I think I just implemented it onto the website with the wrong stuff, but I forgot to add after round eight. Mustache. Kissy face. Okay. Okay. I'm liking this. I liking this. Uh, we're going to slip stitch into that stitch right there. Cut the yarn. Pull it through. Okay. Okay. So we got kissy. Wait, listen. We got kissy face, evil face, mustache, and a derpy face. What do you think about those, Jimbo? Good suggestions? Yeah? Okay, great. I'm glad you agree. All right, so we got, let's do it. Oh, a winking face. Oh, a winking face would be good. Okay, wait, so we got Kissy. I think Kissy with wink is a good idea. Um, Cause it kind of does both things there. We got a uh, chubby face. What's an anime face? Angry face, or what was the last one? We got kissy, angry, chubby, kissy, angry, chubby, winking. Jimbo, come on, buddy, quit it. Evil mustache, mustache. Jimbo, chill. He's like inside of a bag right now. Crazy little dude. I'm gonna vote for, what What do you wanna vote for, Jimbo? You just wanna eat the yarn? You're gonna strangle yourself with that, be careful. Um, what kind of face should we add, Jimbo? Oh my God, you're too cute, I hate it. It's very annoying. Uh, I'm gonna vote for, Yeah, I'll vote for that one. Okay. Votes are coming in now. Oh, I see what an anime face would be. Yeah, like really big eyes. Okay, well, while Jimbo battles a ball of yarn behind my feet and starts biting my feet, chill out. Chill out, buddy. You, I hate that. I hate that you do that. He starts scratching something and I look down to him and he's like, did I do something? Dude. Okay, we need to, you need to figure this out. Hey, here. Okay, we got him away. We got him away. For now. But only for now. Okay. He's just psycho. He's a psycho kitty. His, his mom was a lion and his dad was a demon. I'm pretty sure. That feels accurate to me. Okay. Go right here. Two. Okay, that works. Um, actually, we'll do a third one. And then I'll cut the yarn. I'm just crocheting around these for a few stitches, so... They don't come undone. Um, all right, so we're voting on the kind of face. Uh, what size hook am I using? I am using a size G four millimeter crochet hook, uh, eye crochet. That's usually the crochet hook I end up using uh, for my patterns just because I uh, it works best with my worsted weight cotton yarn, uh, which is the 90% of the patterns that I do is made with worsted weight cotton yarn, so. And now, all the patterns I do is made with worsted weight cotton yarn in our new Club Crochet Amigurumi yarn. Check out how cool. Isn't that neat? Look at how beautiful. Wow. Insert the sound cue here where it goes, wow, wow. It really is super cool yarn though. I'm, I'm super proud of this yarn. Uh, and they're available in, um, in the kits. 
specifically, but I am working on getting them available in the shop. So if you, uh, just be patient with me, but I'm working on that, so. Um, I'm gonna cut this yarn a little shorter too, and we can use all these threads to stuff it into the body later on. So I think we've got a few rounds here of just single crochets before we need to worry about adding a face. So we'll just keep going on with these stitches and then allow the vote to go through first. Well, oh, I recognize this song from something. Is it maybe Pokemon? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Perfect! That's exactly what we wanted it to be. Awesome. Okay, how many rounds of the body am I doing? We did that. We need uh, three more rounds. That's actually not that many. Oh, yeah. Okay, so two people had questions. Um, I'll answer um, uh, Autism Matters uh, comment first. And then I'll get to your comment, Dandy Dippity. Um, Autism Matters asks, uh, they wanted to start a YouTube to make income. Any advice? Don't start a YouTube specifically to make money because that's not how you're gonna make money. Um, if that is the reason you want to make a YouTube channel is to make money, you're not gonna, it's not gonna work out. Uh, because first off, you don't make a lot of money on YouTube. Uh, I'll tell you right now how much money that the that Club Crochet makes on YouTube is uh, like barely anything. These these uh, um, these live streams, for example, um, will like I'll make money off of tips, but the views themselves, I think I make thirty cents off of off of how many people watch these live streams because there's just there's not a lot of money in advertising for YouTube. So my big suggestion is. Don't do it if you're trying to make money. Do it if you want to like have fun and, and start a YouTube channel. Like I'm not saying don't start a YouTube channel. Just don't do it with the intention of making, becoming rich because it's, it's not gonna make you rich. If it does, you're gonna get really, like it's gonna take you a long time and you're gonna need to get really lucky. I will say um, uh, the, the videos that I have made any money off of, even though it hasn't been a lot of it, uh, are the ones that get the most amount of views. So if you really are trying to make money off of YouTube, try to make videos that are specifically made to get a lot of views. So honestly, clickbait and stuff, but I don't make those kind of videos because they don't really make me happy, which is why when I started Club Crochet, I did it with the intention that there's no advertising revenue as part of the business model. Like. That's, that's a nice little extra amount of money that comes into the website, but it's not, it's like like the the smallest amount of money from that Club Crochet makes is, is from the ad revenue because I knew it wasn't, it just wasn't gonna be worth it. Um, and you know, at any point that money can go away because like the adpocalypse happens or there's like a, like your video gets demonetized because of the music in the background or X, Y, Z and W, X, Y, Z. <laughs> it doesn't matter. My point is uh, don't start a YouTube channel in order to make money. Do start a YouTube channel because they're really fun to do um, and because you like what you're making. So that is my advice there. Uh, advice for you, Dandy Dippity. Dandy Dippity asks, any tips for upscaling amigurumi patterns? I've made this pattern and love it. I would love to make a larger one. Is the easiest way just a larger yarn slash hook or is there another method? Hashtag plant parent. Uh, first off, thank you for your question and thank you for um, uh, posing it like that. It feels so professional and I appreciate you. Um, I will say, I think you know, I think you answered your own question there. That is the easiest way by far is larger yarn and a larger crochet hook. That's gonna be the easiest way to increase the size of your crochet. 
um, because then you don't need to change the pattern at all. In fact, what you can do if you don't actually have larger yarn, what you can do is you just double up your yarn. Use two balls of yarn at the same time. Um, how you do that is you take two strands of yarn like this, and you just pretend that both of these strands are using the same bit. So like this, see how I'm like using two strands of yarn at the same time. If they're the same color, you won't even tell the difference, but look at, you can kind of tell, look how much bigger that, hey, dude, I'm trying to talk. Stop, stop it. You're, you really are gonna strangle yourself. You gotta be careful. Um, okay, uh, that'll increase your stitches pretty significantly and be the lowest amount of effort. Um, you will need to use a larger crochet hook though. So yeah, so you know, use a bigger crochet hook and bigger yarn. Uh, and that's gonna be the easiest way to upscale your amigurumi. Other ways to upscale your amigurumi, um, especially with the succulent pattern, is uh, just increasing the stitches. Um, for this succulent pattern, it's a little bit more tricky because the, um, the leaves are kinda hard. So what you need to do to make this bigger, as in like, just make it larger that way, is, I'll show you one. Unfortunately, I think I got rid of the one that I was working on because I had another one of these succulent tops that was even bigger, um, but I didn't like what, how it was working on, uh, how it was working. The way that I do it though, um, what you can do is you can just basically increase this up and up. So um, in this pattern specifically, uh, the top of the succulent, the first round is just doing single crochets, then the second round is making leaves, and then the third round is making more single crochet to make more leaves, to make more single crochets, and so on and so forth. Um, you end at 18 stitches, but if you wanted to, in this next round here, I could have done, um, I could have done uh, five single crochets and then an increase repeated three times around. So we go up from 18 stitches to 21 stitches, Jimbo, stop. Uh, and then I'd have big, more stitches and then I would have to make bigger leaves. And the way I'd make bigger leaves uh, is probably doing like, I probably do slip stitch one and then, in, and then into the next stitch, I do a chain one, half double crochet, double crochet. And then into the next stitch, maybe a double crochet, mini pico double crochet. And then into the next stitch, double crochet, half double crochet, and then chain one and then repeat that for every stitch around and you'd probably have, let's see, that's three stitches. You'd have seven leaves around and they'd be slightly larger leaves. And you see what I mean? Like it, that would be a way to make this bigger and bigger. Um, but really easiest way to do it, just use bigger yarn. Buddy, you're driving me bonkers. Bonkers bananas wild. Not everything is a toy for you. Um, okay, uh, I have one more round here. Uh, I crochet, thank you for subscribing. Uh, and they had a question. On round one, when you're done with the magic ring, do you slip stitch before um, you increase? No. No? On round one, when you're done with the magic ring, do you slip? No, you don't. Um, you don't slip stitch to connect the circle. However, you will slip stitch in round two because you're making the leaves, but you're not gonna, it, I don't, I don't slip stitch to connect the rounds usually. Um, uh, on round one, do you, oh, on the small pot? No, you don't. You do not slip stitch in the small pot after round one. Um, I actually will be making the small pot in just a second too. So if you want me to show you how to do round one, I'll, I'll show you. Um, and there is a video tutorial. So if you really need help fast, uh, check out the video tutorial. It might get you your answer a little quicker. Um, okay, so that's round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12 is done. So now I'm on round 13. Um, question from Cosmo. Cosmo, hey dude. Yeah, yeah, free that boy from this prison. Thank you. <laughs> Jules came to save the day. Um, 
uh, Cosmo, I have seen your YouTube channel. Yeah, I saw the video you made about me. Um, and I've seen other videos of yours as well. Uh, I'm subscribed. I'm actually subscribed on my normal account, I think, to your YouTube channel. Like, my personal account. Not Club Crochet, I don't think. But I might be. I don't know. Three, four, five, six. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that is Seelis. Yep, that's exactly what the mistake is, Seelis. Um, that's what I need to fix in the pattern, uh, is round seven should not be, it should be single crochet four, and then increase one three times to go up to 18 stitches. Uh, that is exactly what, what, the, what the round is. And what the mistake was that I will be fixing right after this live stream. I actually might fix it during the live stream, but we'll see. Um, what does a chubby face mean? Here, I'll show you actually, because we'd made a chubby face on dill here. So this is what chubby face means. It's like a little fat face, maybe with a tongue, maybe without a tongue. I'm not sure about the eyes yet though. I don't know what kind of eyes we'll add. I might kind of just play it by ear or, I don't know. Depends on the face, I suppose. Um, okay, I do a full bobble stitch. So there's one, two. So I'm making our little feet now. Three, and here is four. Is this music like taking over the stream right now? It feels like it's really loud. I turned it down just in case. I'm also gonna do this. Oh, that was a really good finger crack. One, two, two, oh. three, and four. Okay, our legs are done. There we go. And we're done with our green yarn. We can save the rest of it for next week. So we have just enough for our last pattern uh, if we want to use this green yarn for next week. Um, I think I might end up using a different green yarn, but um, it's good to have just in case we want to use this one. So I'm going to put this back in the box back in the box back in the box anybody know what I'm quoting yeah I think Jimbo is a mancoon actually so and man I know I I really really wish that um, I think Jimbo's part mancoon I should say I, I don't we don't think he's all mancoon um, but I really like, I would pay so much just to see what little baby Jimbo looked like as a little kitten. Oh my God, I bet you he was so cute. <laughs> Out of the box. Out of the box. Okay, we have our vote. And the poll, what wins, what wins? Ooh, mustache, okay. I wasn't expecting that. All right, we're actually gotta go back into the box, back, back, back into the box to grab our black yarn that we haven't even opened yet. So this yarn was added into this kit as like bonus yarn. Um, I added it because if you wanted to make uh, like spikes for a cactus, for example, and you wanted your spikes to be black instead of white, so I added the black yarn instead, but this is gonna be a perfect yarn to use for a mustache, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it now. What am I doing? I can rip this off. Can I rip it off? I kinda of messed that up. Oh my gosh, what a mess. There we go. Too secure, five me. Um, okay, first thing we wanna do is we definitely wanna add eyes. Um, for the eyes, uh, 
Let's go with eight millimeter. I actually think I'm pretty sure I have this written as eight millimeter, but I'm pretty sure these are 10 millimeter because I just like dumped a bunch of eyes in there. And these look like they're gigantinormous. Um, actually, you know what? Let's not use those because I'm pretty sure those are wrong. Anyhow, and let's use these ones, which I'm sure are eight millimeter. And we still have a bunch more, so that's kind of nice. One, two, that's all we need. Cool. All right, so the eyes have it. Let's go. Maybe we should add the mustache first, actually. Let's, let's see how that would look. Find the end of our yarn. Where's the end of the yarn? Oh gosh, I'm making a tangled mess already. I can't find the end. Really though, I can't find the end. Where's the end of this yarn? I untangled the whole thing. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's fix this back. Highly suggested, Sarah. Adopt a kitty. They're the cutest, the bestest. Can we do a mustache on a chubby face? I don't, I honestly don't think we're going to be able to fit much of anything on top of the mustache. I think the mustache is gonna take over the basically where the mouth is. Kinda like how mustaches really do. So I don't think we'll have enough room for a chubby face on top of it. But maybe. Yeah, I do think he's got ragdoll for Jim in Jimbo. Jimbo's got ragdoll in his jeans for sure. I think you are right about that, Zoe. Um, I think that's probably enough yarn for us. Out of the way and let's let's see what kind of embroidery work we can do for this mustache um i want to do the mustache first just because i think it'll be easier to like gauge where it'll be um i think like the center i'll put right here that'll be the center of the mustache and then I think we want it to be like, we want a curly mustache, right? So we probably want it to go like up like that. Like that's half the mustache and then the other half will go on the other side, you know, like Mario style. Um, but usually what I do for mustaches to make it so it curls up is I'll go in through this stitch and then I'll come out through here and then I'll come out through the top like that. And then I'll double up the yarn. So I'll like create like a little bar like this and then I'll go around the bottom of the bar like that. Pull that tighter. And you see it'll make it like kind of curled up like, like that, which is, that's pretty cute. Uh, and then we'll just go back right into the same stitch and then go up through here. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good mustache side. Like, you know, imagine that on both sides. That'd be pretty good. Uh, and then we'll do the same over here. And go up like that. The eyes might be a little weird, but we'll figure out how to add the eyes after this. Like this, and then I'll go around the bottom part. And let's see how this mustache turns out. And then we'll go back into the center here, double knot it together. How's this look? That looks pretty mustachey, I think. What do we think? It kind of looks like a mouth, but it also kind of looks like a mustache. And then the eyes I would put like right, actually we can do inside or we can do outside. How do we feel about the eyes way out here? Hmm. I might be down for them to be way out there if they were smaller eyes. So let's let's look at the smaller eyes. Make it, I mean, that's a pretty, you don't think that's a giant mustache, Tegan? It feels pretty big to me. You want it to go really far out though? How do we feel about that? Chat, let me know, what do we think? Do we think we wanna make this mustache even bigger? Or do we like it the size that it is? It kind of maybe won't look like a mustache if, if it's this big. Maybe maybe we need it bigger to make it look more like a mustache. 
Claire wants us to make glasses. We might be able to make glasses. The thing I might have a problem with with the glasses is that it might be hard to put into the pot if we add glasses, but... Twiz thinks it should be thicker. I crochet likes it. Witchy boy. Hey, witchy boy. I was just talking about you. They like it as is. Ruby thinks it's good as is. Anybody else? Martin thinks we could go a little thicker with it. Let's see if we can make it a little thicker then. I, I'm cool with that. We'll, we'll try to make it a little thicker. Um, and that might like solve our making it bigger problem too. So we'll give it a shot. Let's see what happens. We go back in here and then we just do this one more time. Will it just make it thicker without having to do too much effort? Let's see. So, I mean, that does definitely make it pretty thick of a stash. Of a stash. Monocle. Now, a monocle might work better because then we won't have... Actually, I think a monocle is a really good idea, Martin, for a bunch of reasons. I think Zoe thinks we should go full full beard. Um, a monocle is a good idea because I think it'll make this mustache more clear, too. Because, like, you know. What is a mustache if not a monocle device? <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I mean, it kind of made it thicker. It also kind of made it more of like a smile. But like I said, like a, a monocle is going to help that a lot, I think. It'd be nice if we had a nose. Like if we actually added a nose to him. Which maybe we could do. Let's see. Actually, let's actually see what would happen if we did add a nose. Um, if we did add a nose, it would be in our green, which we put away. We would just need a little bit of it. And it would go like right over the stash. So it'd be like right there like that. It might be hard to tell that it's a nose though, but you know what, let's give it a shot. I think that might that might add to the stashiness. Tighten that one a bit. Do, 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 do. Let's see. I'm gonna double knot here. The chat is behind. I'll refresh it in one second. Thanks for letting me know, I crochet. Oh yeah, it's it's a little behind. It's not that bad though. Um Okay, let's refresh it. There we go. Oh wait, now it's like way off. Should've done that. Huh. Why did that change so drastically? I think that, yeah, okay, it, got, it fixed. Cool. All right, so we got one knot, double knot. We need a second one. Actually, no, that's double knotted. Cool. Cut there. That with our stuff that we're gonna use for stuffing. And then we want a, we wanna try a nose. I think what might work for the nose is doing a, like, a rose knot. Um 
which I think is like, I think it would be like up to this, like that. And then what we can do is we'll wrap it around the needle, one, two, three times, we hold it away from us, and then we'll go into where we want the nose to end, which is gonna be right here. Pull all this nice and tight, and then pull it into the stitch. And this might add a nose very simply. Let's see how this looks. We can always remove it, obviously. But I actually, I actually do kind of dig that. It does make this look more like a mustache, in my opinion. Um, but what do you think about the nose? Do we like the nose? Uh, and then let's let's mess with the eight millimeter eyes and add these in and see how these look as well um, before we add our monocle. Um, I think I want the eight millimeter eyes. We can put it right here or we can put it out a little bit like further than the mustache actually is like that. Uh, I don't know. It kind of makes them look weird with it on the outside, right? So let's see what it looks like on the inside. Um, we can put it like right where the mustache ends, but I don't know if that's gonna look good. Let's see. Yeah, I don't, well, actually that's not, that's not too bad, right where the mustache is. Especially if it had a monocle. And then the other option is inside the mustache, like on the inside right here, which might make his eyes look really close together. But it, it actually, it might work. Let's try it. Try it with, um, I'll try it on this side first. So like in the center of this stitch is what I'm thinking. Do you like the eyes close? Yeah, I, I think I like the eyes closer rather than further away. But yeah, I'm thinking like right here in the center of this stitch might work. This. Like that. And then the other eye into this stitch right here, which again, it's like really close together, but it might, it might actually work with what we got going on. Especially if after we add like a monocle and stuff. Let's see. Ooh, Cooper, you finished the succulent. Nice, congratulations. Cooper sent me a picture the other day because I sent him a a um a few of like I sent him an early version of the under the sea kit and the other um the this kit that we're currently working on just to like thank him for all his support and stuff. And uh, he sent me a picture of the back, like of all the crochet things that he's made. And he's made so many ferrets. He has like literally like 15 ferrets. It's really funny. It's like, oh, I see what you pattern is your favorite. <laughs> okay, so that's close up. I, I actually do kind of like it close up. I don't know, how do we think? Um, I do like the nose though. I'm gonna definitely, let's finish the nose up because I think the nose it adds a lot. So we'll go ahead and double knot this. Hey, we all love this song. Okay, so there's the nose. And uh, yeah, I just wanna know, what do you think about those eyes? While you guys are letting me know about the eyes, regardless of if the eyes are there or somewhere else, I definitely want to add a monocle. So, here's how we're going to add a monocle. You're going to enjoy this. I think you'll like this. We need, we're going to need pliers. We're going to need some brass wire. We don't need very much. I think maybe about like that much. Actually, that's like way more than we need, but that's okay. And then we'll need a pen or, or something to wrap around it. So I think the way I do these, I gotta remember, I think I start with a circle around like this, right? To make the, where the 
monocle itself would go. And then I wrap it around. I actually do like a little twist here. Okay, and then that part's gonna go in. And then this part goes down. And I make a little, like, make a little loop like that. And then this loop is gonna get twisted. So we're gonna grab it like this. And we're just gonna twist it around like once like that. And then this end's gonna go in with where the other end is like that. And now I think that's all I'll need. You know, we'll twist these two together as well. Just to keep everything like kosher. have these two ends to shove on the inside of the face once we're done. So we're just going to cut these ends. I'm going to cut this end nice and short. Let's see. I guess we could... Yeah, we'll cut, we'll cut these ends short. Like that. And yeah, that... I think that's good. And there we go, we got a little monocle. So when I add that into the face, we'll go through this stitch and through this stitch next to it. And we'll see how this looks. I'll probably take this out and put it back in at the end. But I do want to see what it looks like. Hmm. No. These need to go through the same stitch. Like this. But that is how our monocle is going to be added. And I don't know. It's a little too close. Maybe it's a little too big of a monocle. Maybe we'll go. Actually, maybe we'll go through this stitch all the way out here instead. It's going to be right there, right in the center of that stitch. Ooh, I crochet, good question. I will answer that in just a second. I wanna see what this looks like first. Okay, that's the monocle. How do we like all that going on right there? Are we, are we, are we liking this little dude? This monocle's kind of like fighting us though. We might need to like do some fancy footwork to make sure it's on correctly and the thing I'm most worried about is this going into a pot um, actually let's take out dill here and see how this guy works in this pot mm, yeah that's not gonna work we're gonna need the smaller size pot so I might have to like actually crochet loosely for the pot I don't know we'll see um, I'm gonna bend this on the outside maybe like that how will that look uh, keep it straight straighter to the face maybe hmm. not sure okay all right people want to know <laughs> it does look like a mad professor Okay, we'll keep this. I might make another monocle, but we'll we'll keep that monocle for right now. And uh, let's put Dill. Look at his little butt. We'll put Dill back in his little home. I'm sure it's cold. It's probably very cold. Um. Okay, so people had questions. Oh yeah, we need name suggestions. Name suggestions for sure. Um. Okay, so name suggestions are now in the chat. So if you want to go in the chat, um, I did a Q&A, 
and the Q&A says like what name should we give our new succulent? So you can go in there and you click ask something and then you can uh, give me a name suggestion. Any name suggestion you want. I'll choose my top four suggestions and then we can all vote on which of those four names is your favorite that we can name our little succulent friend here. I'm, I'm kind of trying to fix his little mustache a little bit. Um, but he looks pretty cute. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do our next round. And start to close them up. Yeah, we might need to, yeah, we might need to sew on uh, the monocle. That is totally true. I, I'm not totally sure just yet, but we might. Okay, Oodles, thanks for joining. Make sure to give it a like on your way out. <laughs> but also, yeah, thanks for joining, Oodles. It, it, you've been a, a great help. Lots of good suggestions. Um, okay, so someone asked about tension. They wanted to know how do you, like, they crochet too loosely, and then someone else said that they crochet too tightly, and how do you control your tension? Um, so... Here's my tips for controlling tension. Um, the first tip is that uh, the how to control tension, a lot of that is based on um, practice. It's based on actively like trying to control your tension, which is, I know, really bad advice. Just like do better, but it really like it's very difficult to um, to give tips on controlling tension um, because. It's depending on how tightly you're crocheting. Like if you're crocheting tightly, then you're crocheting tightly. You need to loosen up, chill out. Um, if you're crocheting too loose, then you need to crochet a little tighter. That being said, there are a few tips I have. Um, the first tip and the easy one to fix your crochet is change your crochet hook. Um, using a larger crochet hook will force your stitches to be looser. Using a smaller crochet hook will force your stitches to be tighter. So in this case, if I was crocheting this pattern too loosely and I'm using this four millimeter crochet hook and I wanna make my stitches a little tighter, I would use a slightly smaller crochet hook, maybe 3.5 millimeter, maybe three millimeter. Um, the other way around uh, is um, if you want your stitches to be looser, get a bigger crochet hook. Instead of four millimeter, try a five millimeter crochet hook or try, um, let's see, do I have a five millimeter? Okay, so this one's, this one's 5.5 millimeter, but you can see how much bigger it is. And this will force you to make your stitches looser. Um, uh, that being said, if you're crocheting really, really tightly and you're having a hard time getting into your stitches, just straight up relax. You are just holding your yarn way too tight. Um, like this would be holding my yarn too tight. Okay, let me show you an example. So this is me. This is the yarn at normal tightness. So you can see how my crochet hook has a little bit of like room to wiggle. You can see how there's like a little bit of space in between the crochet hook my left hand I've got the yarn like around my finger but I kind of like loosely I'm like loosely grabbing it like sometimes I hold it like this so that it tightens up but I'd never have it like so tight that I can't pull it out from my fingers if I'm crocheting too tightly this is what it would look like first off there would be no room like see how there's like no gap in between the stitch and the or the loop and the hook that is a tight hook that thing is strangling my hook um, it's like a noose on the hook now now the tightness of the of the fingers I'm like holding if I'm on if I'm crocheting really tightly I'm holding it like this I'm holding it really tightly and it's very close see how close the yarn is to my fingers everything is like like squished together um, that is going to uh, make your stitches really really tight hard to use um, so what you want to do is just loosen up just relax like like keep the tension on the right side not on the left side like if I'm going in here, going into the next stitch and I want it to be loose, I'm loosely, see I have my yarn way out and I'm pulling through here. If I want it to be really loose, I, I actively am loosening my stitch up and then finishing my stitch 
like that. And now look, oh my gosh, that stitch is so much looser than the ones before. That's too loose though. Um, the other thing, uh, this is a tip that I do every single stitch, but I don't think you've ever noticed me doing it because I do it very subtly and very quickly every stitch. Um, what I do is after I'm done with the stitch, so let's say I do a single crochet here and I finish that single crochet up, every single time I do that, you'll see me very subtly do that, which is tightening the stitch up. So I'm tightening the stitch up so that it matches the rest of the stitches. And that's my way to consistently add a, like a consistent um, tension throughout the pattern. Uh, it's a really good way to, to just control your tension a little bit easier. Um, just fix it after the fact. Try crocheting a little looser than you're, normal, than you're used to, but fixing the stitch after you're done crocheting it and it'll help you control your tension a little bit better. Um, so that's a really, like, I think it's a really useful tip, at least for me, um, for controlling my tension. Um, and uh, the last thing is, um, don't crochet angry. <laughs> I know, that's a, but seriously, like, if you're grumpy, if you're in a bad mood and you're crocheting, you will tight, crochet tighter. Uh, if you're crocheting really, really fast, you'll either probably be crocheting it too tightly or too loosely. If your fingers are starting to hurt, like your grip is like, ow, that means you're crocheting too tightly. You need to chill out, loosen your hands out, uh, hands up. Um, yeah. So those are my tips for um, tension. Uh, I am working on a video that will go through like all my tips for tension. Uh, so if you have any tips, in, uh, if you're in the chat and you have any tips for how to control tension, uh, let us know. Like any other tips are very welcomed. But yeah, now you're gonna start to notice me fixing my stitches after the fact. Like there, I just finished a stitch and I'll pull it tighter. I just always do that. And it kind of helps me control my tension a little bit more. I even do it after I do my first pull through too. So I'll like, I'll go through the next stitch here I'm doing invisible decreases, so I'm going through two front loops, but I'll pull this first loop through like this, oops, there we go, like this, and then I'll even start pulling the tension already. Like I already pulling the tension tighter. And then, well here, notice this. So I pull it tighter like that, and then I also loosen it. So I like pull it tighter to get it as tight, like really tight, and then I loosen it with my crochet hook to get just the right looseness that I want and then I yarn over, I pull through again, and then I do it again. But I do it so quick that it like, you don't even, you don't even see me do it. It's like just part of my stitch at this point. It's like boop, boop, boop. I pull through, tighten a little bit, loosen a little bit, pull through, tighten, loosen. And then cut the yarn and pull it all through. And we have our fella started. Uh, now we need to stuff him up and sew him closed. Uh, and then start work on the pot. Um, I'm actually working way slower than I was expecting because I was actually expecting to be done by now. So I'm gonna have to speed up when it comes to making the pot for our guy. Um, I do wanna try to stuff him with this. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna happen because the hole I made was really small, but let's see, let's see if we can't get this stuffing, this extra thread into our fella here. Oh, it's working. It's working. It's just taking a little longer. Where's my... I usually have a pencil here. Oh, here it is. I'm going to use this stick because it's a little bit bigger. So that's a good way to get us started with our stuffing. And next up, we'll add some regular stuffing. <laughs> Any tips on unknotting yarn? Ooh, that's a good question. So like you're saying that like your ball of yarn has become a knot and you're trying to unknot it. You're not like actively crocheting. It's like you need to unknot the yarn before you crochet. 
Any tips on that? Honestly, Jules has the best tips on that because she's the best person for it because I get so frustrated when my yarn is knotted up. Um, so I guess my tip there is like, relax. Uh, I will say, do as I say, not as I do, because I do not relax when, when my yarn is knotted. I kind of panic and like get warm and upset. So I know that feeling. Um, but if your yarn is getting tangled really easy, um, if it's just not a lot of yarn, honestly, if it's like, if it's like this much yarn is left over and that's all tangled, just get rid of it. Like, it's just not worth it. It's not worth your anger. It's not worth your, like, like you're, you're trying to crochet because you enjoy it. Not because like, yeah. So it's not the best tip, but that is kind of one of my tips. Um, another option is to, um, Use a needle to like help you pry knots open. Um, that might help. Any Anybody else got any tips for if your yarn gets tangled? Yeah, do what Zoe did. Do what Zoe said. Uh, Zoe says, give it to your uh, fidgety partner. Yeah, that's what I do. I'll give it to Jules and say, hey, can you unknot this for me? Give it to, give it to someone that's patient. I am not patient. Especially when it comes to yarn. I guess I'm pretty patient normally, but. Yeah, what Sila said, if you have like a really, really tight knot, um, uh, use your needle to help break break the yarn up a little bit more. Okay. There we go. All right, we're sewn closed there we need to add a butt crack because of course we do um i'm actually going to use our black yarn for a butt crack so he's got a really thick butt crack eyebrows 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 oh eyebrows dang we should add eyebrows too we can do both eyebrows right yes oh my god we how did we not add eyebrows we almost made a terrible mistake Let's give him some eyebrows. Come up through here. And I think we're just gonna add really simple eyebrows. Nothing too complicated. Just like this. Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. Look at that. Oh my God, look how much more character that adds to him. Makes him look a little grumpy, but I actually really like it. I can't believe we almost didn't add eyebrows. Ugh, what a mistake that would have been. Did I not put the backs on the eyes? Oh no, I did. Yeah, you did miss it. I don't know when I did it, but, because I also missed it, but I did do it. I just don't remember. Oh, hold back then. All right, there we go. Okay, eyebrow numero uno is on. Let's add the next eyebrow over here. It's funny how eyebrows change the whole look of the pattern in my opinion. Totally changes the way everything looks. Not like drastically, but it does a little bit. How does this look? Ooh, that eyebrow is not where we want it to be. It's a little off, little off center, don't you think? Yeah, that one doesn't look right. Let's do that again. Oh, hey, Cooper, can you add Mr. Figs into the into the Q and A for um for Tegan? I want it like right, this is, I want it like right here for the eyebrow. And then, yeah, that that's better, yeah. Right there, and then we'll end. Come 
might actually want to end it even sooner. Okay. That up to here. If that fixed the eyebrow that much, but yeah, it looks pretty good. It needs to be a little looser. That's pretty good. Cool. Double knotted. One. A little tighter. And two. Okay. That in there. All right, eyebrows are on. Now we need to add the butt crack. stitch and there's our butt easy squeezy lemon peasy just a little bit stuff that knot back in him All right, he's got a butt, he's got a face. Here's our monocle. Let's go ahead and try to add that in. I actually think I'm gonna need to curve the monocle in a little bit like this. Then it'll like, hopefully, stay in the face a little bit better. I think we want it to be into the center of this stitch here. So we need to loosen that stitch up. Give it a shot. There we go. Oh, what a fancy little boy. What a fancy lad. We have a fancy lad succulent. Actually, I actually think this circle needs to be like bent. Just a little bit more circular. Fancy lad succulent. Very fancy. Very lad. <laughs> All right, let's make this pot. I'm just going to do beige for the pot. Make it easy. And because, you know, the kit. And we did a blue pot for our dill anyhow. So, you know, we need to change the vibe a little. Um, oh, uh, someone was asking about... Ooh, my mic is peeking into the face cam. Is it really? Oh, it's not the mic. It's this thing. Yeah, that's not the mic. That's the, um, thank you for looking out though. That's like the camera, camera thing. I, I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to fix that without messing this up, but we will try our best. Hmm, maybe like this way. Let's go the other way. Yeah, I actually. Can I just. There we go. Okay. Hopefully, this doesn't unplug the cord. Okay. How's that? I fix it. I did the fixing. Okay. Um, all right, so now I'm adding the <laughs> Farhana. Farhana was like, she left and 
she came back and I was going, what a fancy lad. Oh, wow. Mm, yes. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, uh, someone was asking if I slip stitch into the first stitch. So no, I don't. You'll see right now uh, in this pot, I'm not slip stitching in. I'm just going into the very first stitch from round one, like this, and single crocheting right into that. And I'm working around our tail end to keep the end in place. So there's one and two. Okay. All right, so this is gonna be, by the way, the last part of our pattern. Um, go ahead and give any name suggestions now. We will vote on the name once I'm done with the bottom of the um, pot, which is gonna be in like two rounds. So you don't have very much longer. Also, uh, here's a shout out again. If you like this channel, you really want to support it. Um, the first way, free, cheap, just like this video down below and subscribe. We're trying to get 150 likes. If this video gets 150 likes, we're going to do a, um, hold on. I wanna see how many likes we have right now. If we if this video gets 150 likes, we're gonna do a giveaway. Sorry, wait one sec, there we go. On the next live stream. And we're pretty close, we're at 112. So it's pretty close to that. Um, the other thing is, if you really like what's going on here, you want to support monetarily, seriously, please consider Club Crochet membership. It is the best way to support this channel. Uh, it's only $5 a month, and you can even get a free trial, see if it's something you're interested in. And if it's not, you can cancel it at any time. Uh, and then the last really cool way to support, if you really want to support this channel, and also you want to get something cool, is consider purchasing this seasonal crochet kit. It's really, really cool. Honestly, it's probably the one of the best products I've, I've made for my business. So um, if you've always thought like, oh, I wanna try out one of his crochet kits, now is absolutely the time. Um, this crochet kit is way, way cool. Uh, if you get an annual pass, you'll get all four, like four seasonal crochet kits for an entire year's worth of crocheting. Um, you'll get special, um, You'll get special uh, um, pins in every single one of your kits, and uh, you'll get, if you get an annual pass, you'll even get a book at the end of the year with all the patterns throughout the entire year put into a giant book. Uh, I'm still working on that. I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work right away, but I'm trying to figure it out. So yeah, please consider supporting the channel. Okay. I can't wait to see the names you guys have suggested. Okay, we're almost done with the base of this. Bless you. <laughs> Jules just sneezed. Um, okay, and then I have this really nice secret way to uh, continue in the, you know what? I'll show you in a second. Before I do that, let's go ahead and choose four names and vote. How do I go to my Q&A? Oh, oh, I'm in the Q&A. Okay, so here's our option, ooh. I like that, okay. That's good. Um, it's not letting me see the top one. Hold on, I gotta put this in a dock. There we go. I couldn't see the top one. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> Dr. Stash. Hold on. That one's pretty good. Good. Oh, 
Oh my god, there's so many good names. Oh god, you guys, this is a hard... You guys made really good names. Hold on. Uh, okay. What name suggestions should I do? Hmm. I'm going to end the Q&A now. And do the poll. Okay, so we got one. I feel like six names that I want to choose. I can only do four. Okay, I chose my four favorite, and I gotta say, like honestly, uh, it was a very close four favorite. Like there, there are three other ones. Uh, I really like Professor Sucks. That was funny, and uh, there was another one I really liked, um, Bambino. I almost went with Bambino. So, uh, special special credit goes to those names. But these were my four favorites. Ooh! Oh my God, the names are gonna be close. Oh, for Hannah, I'm so sorry that your arm hurts. Twiz, Twiz's favorite yarn is now the Club Crochet yarn, so just so you know. Um, okay, so here's my little secret for how to make this the bottom of this pot a little bit cleaner. I think I did it on this one actually too. I go in through the back of the next stitch instead of just like skipping this part, going through the back of that, yarn over and pull it through the slip stitch like that, and then chain one. And then it makes it just a little bit cleaner. It's like barely anything, but make it a little bit cleaner. All right. One. I'm going to loosen my grip for this next part, uh, for the body of the um, the pot, because I need the pot to be um, uh, to be. Oops. There we go. There we go. I need the pot to be big enough so that the the glasses or the monocle fits in there really well so we're gonna go loose loose as a goose for the pot here so I'm really kind of loosening my grip and chilling out as I crochet so that we don't have to stress too much of oh shoot will it fit in there with the monocle I think we need to make sure it can so instead of making the pot bigger we're just gonna kind of loosen the grip to make the pot just slightly bigger. Honorable mentions, that's the word I was looking for, Emerald Turtle. By the way, hi, Emerald Turtle. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. One more. This stitch. Nope. Nope. This stitch right here. Don't fight me. Hold on. There we go. Okay. That's kind of like a shell. Just kind of cute. Cute. All right, see you later, I crochet. Thanks for joining. Thanks for subscribing. Hey, literal monkey. You're literally a monkey. <laughs> Thanks for joining the stream. Hi, well, how you doing today? What have you been up to? Um, this song is too epic. I should do more live streams like this. I will do them every single week, I crochet. We'll be here next week uh, making a clock, actually. 
Um, so anybody that wants to join, we're going to be crocheting a clock next week, which should be pretty fern. Three, four, five, and then there will be six and seven. And you can see how these stitches are much, much more loose because we need this guy to fit in here really comfortably. So we're going looser with our stitches. You're doing great just being a monkey. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. A monkey. A monkey. Every time you make a pot for the cactus, the cactus doesn't fit in the pot. Susan. Oh no. That's not good. That means you gotta like, yeah, loosen your grip while you're making the pot like I am right now. And it might help you out a lot. Um, but that's not good. Maybe making the slightly larger pot size, that might help. That's a, uh, yeah, that's, that's not good. It should fit. Um, hey, whoever's doing all these congrats and likes and stuff on the video, thanks for doing that. I can see them, and I appreciate you. Ooh, silly question, but how do you know the right side of the crochet? That's not a silly question. Uh, that's a very good question. A very important question, too, because it's super important for knowing your crochet. Here's how you know the difference between the right and the wrong side of your crochet. If you're on the right side, it'll look like a bunch of V's. V, 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 just all these V's put together. There's gonna be a little tiny line in between V's, but it'll all be V's pretty much. V, 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 V. If you're on the wrong side of your crochet, it'll look like a bunch of bars. See, so there's not, the V's aren't really here. There's like upside down V's kind of, but what you're gonna notice even more than that are these bars. They're kind of like little bumps on the inside. That's the wrong side. <coughs> Sorry. Ah. ah, there we go. That's the wrong side of the crochet. If you have all these bars, uh, it's not gonna be the little bees. So that's gonna be the main way you're gonna be able to tell if you're on the wrong side or the right side of the crochet. I personally really like the right side of the crochet, but sometimes some people really like the wrong side uh, for their, like while they're crocheting. I mean, it's, it's a really a personal preference. Um, there's also gonna be a big difference if you're using the X stitch, um, which is like the, it, it's like a different way to do the single crochet. Basically how you do the X stitch is instead of the way I'm doing it right now, where I go into the stitch, I yarn over the hook like this, and then I pull that through the stitch and then yarn over and pull through both. What you do for the X stitch is you go into the stitch and instead of yarning over the hook, you hook onto the yarn. So you go, you hook onto the yarn, pull that through, and then do it again over here. You hook onto the yarn. Instead of going like this, you go like this and pull it through too. And what that does is it makes kind of more of an X instead of a V. I personally like the V a little bit more than I do the X single crochet, but yeah, there, there are, way you can do either either or oh oh my my phone is running out of battery that's what it says it's funny it's so loud though i'm sorry if that was a blast blast in your ear okay so we only have a few more rounds left um and before i go i will show you what we're going to be making next week uh next week it's same time same place thursday um, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's going to be the last live stream for season one. And we're going to be making our very last pattern in the season, which are um, flower coasters slash a clock. And what we're really going to be making is a clock. So, yeah, if you want to join, uh, we'll be starting at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, all that fun jazz. And uh, yeah, bring your bring your favorite project. Whether you're making a, um, whether you're going to make a uh, a clock or 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 coasters, or you want to make something completely different, bring whatever you want. Oh, Twiz, you already finished the pot holder. Very cool. I know it is beautiful, isn't it? It's very pretty. I feel like it's it's much more of a like. I don't know. It's easier for me to give that as a gift. It's also like Twiz just finished it. It's like pretty quick to crochet, which is kind of shocking uh, that it that it doesn't take very much, very long to make. So it's kind of nice. Just 
make sure he's oh yeah he's gonna fit in there perfect look at that so see because making the stitches much more loose made him like fit in there a lot a lot easier um actually maybe i can show you let's see if i can grab another pot out once i finish this one and so you can see what the difference is because i'm crocheting it so loosely you can see how much bigger it made the pot than if i crocheted it tightly and how and how much of a difference that can make for your crochet okay so this is gonna be my last round and uh, we'll close the poll after this and I will find out what name you guys have named our cute new little succulent and then we'll rock and roll and I'll see you next week okay One, two, okay, almost there. I'm going a little bit tighter with these slip stitches just so that it like pulls the top in a little bit more. So maybe it like holds our guy where he needs to go. I won't lie though, I'm a little worried about the the monocle. I don't know if he's going to fit in and be able to be pulled out very easy with that monocle there, but we're about to find out. Pull it out. I'm going to hide this end in. Oh, D Sunday. Well, thanks you for coming in and saying hi. And I hope you had a wonderful night, even though it was busy. Just hiding stitches now. Ah. There we go. And uh, just as a shout out again, if you like this or if you want to get this pattern, it's totally free until the end of the day. So tomorrow I'm going to turn it back to being available for purchase or, um, or you know, requiring a membership. Okay, so this is a normal pot. Let me show you a... Here's another pot that I made. So you can see, like, this This is made the exact same way as this one was, but I crocheted this one really loosely, and you can see how much bigger it is. It's, like, almost a whole round taller. You, I think you might even be able to fit this pot in... Yeah, but it's the same exact stitches. Same exact stitches. I just made the one for our succulent today way looser. And moment of truth, let's see if he fits in there. Oh yeah, he fits in perfect. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely, wow, that's perfect. I actually think I like it loose, the pot loose like that more than I like it tight. That's beautiful. And if we pop him out, he gets popped out and he, we don't have to worry about the monocle. It works! Wow, love that. You gotta love that. Okay, Mr. Monocle Succulent, what is your name? Let's find out. And the winner of the name, oh no, it's a tie. It's a tie between Gusto and Lord Simon. You know what that means, right? His name is now Lord Simon Gusto. Gusto. They made it clear that it's Goose and toe. So their name is Lord Simon Gusto. I think that is actually perfect. <laughs> it's like, it was made to be. Oh my god, I love that idea, Dandy. Dandy Dippity, just make a bunch of them for your car. Lord Simon Gusto. I freaking love that. Hello, Lord Simon Gusto. It's like peeking out, it's like, Hello, I'm just checking on how you've been doing. Yes, There's no judgment here, thank you. Mm, carry on. Boop. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, okay, so let me show you again what we're making next week. Uh, next Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, like, subscribe. We're gonna be crocheting a clock using the brand new and final pattern from our um, 
our photosynthesis season, we're gonna be making a clock and we're gonna make it a little different uh, than this one. So I have two different kinds. So we'll, I'll need your help choosing colors and stuff. And um, we might even end up painting the, the things on the outside. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, it's a pretty quick pattern to hook up though. So it should be kind of cool. Um, you want to see Jack? Okay. Okay. One second. Um, but yeah, like, and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, well, I'll see you guys next week where we'll be making a clock. A uh, shout out again to our new addition, Mr. Simon Gusto. Very cute. Looks kind of like the Pringles man, which is kind of nice. Oopsies. Yeah, our monocle is trying to hook onto some extra threads. So we got to be careful there. But he looks very cute, so we're going to place him right there. Um, uh, and you want to say hi to Jack. All right, I'll have Jack. Hey. Jack, Jackery, wake up, bud. Wake up. There you go. Man. Hold on. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Just talk. Just say hi to people. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining. I hope you had a great day. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, that that's that that that's what you wanted me to say. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. I mean, I I think people just haven't seen you in a while, and they just wanted to say hi to you. So, yeah, you want to say hi to your biggest fans? Uh, yeah. Hello to my biggest fans. Hello to Tina and Susan and uh, um. Who else is, uh, oh, Joe Biden. Yes, hello, Joe Biden. That's my uncle. Hey, Biden, how you doing? Doc, Joe Biden is not your uncle, dude. Yeah, no, I mean, not like, not by blood, obviously. But, uh, yeah. I'm married to his, uh, to his wife's cousin. That doesn't make Joe Biden your uncle. That makes Joe Biden your second cousin, I think? logistics anyhow thanks for joining pasta la pizza that's my line dude well then why don't you say something okay well you leave and i'm gonna say goodbye okay bye thanks for joining guys pasta la pizza happy hooking i'll see you guys next week and uh yes yes i'm sure jack's been enjoying the tips i'm sure he has um, <laughs> thanks for joining everybody. I'll see you guys, uh, next Thursday and, uh, yeah. Pasta La Pizza, happy hooking and oh my God, stop. No, you hang up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, nope, this one. That's the one. All right, guys. Bye.